Okay, here we are. Um, we're going to do review for non-parametric inference. <clears throat> we're doing problem seven. This is the Kruskal-Wallace H test. Um, remember, it follows a chi-square distribution, but our test statistic is H. And so we're going to look at the probability distributions of three populations. When we have three populations, and those populations might be non-normal and small, and so the central limit theorem doesn't apply, we need a, a non-parametric test. And so um, the Wilcox tests are only for two samples, just like t-test. And so the Kruskal Wallace is like our ANOVA for non-parametric. Now, the following data represent independent random samples. So independent random samples means this is completely randomized. There's no sort of blocking or paired differences that we're thinking about when we have independent random samples from these three populations, right? Um, it does say that they're going to compare, right? So the null hypothesis, there's no difference. And um, the alternative is there is at least a difference in two of the distributions, at least a difference, okay? Now, we won't know how many are different until we do some post-talk, but there's at least a difference. And so this is pretty simple stuff. So what I'm going to do in this one is I'm going to run the Kruskal Wallace test in Stack Crunch, um, and I'm going to get the p value first and the test statistic and determine whether we're going to reject or not. And then I'm going to kind of go back and get the rejection region. Okay, so that's the plan now. So I took all of this data, and of course, I put it in Stack Crunch. And so, what we're going to do is we're going to do stat, right? We're going to go down to the non parametric, I'm going to go down to the Kruskal Wallace, I'm going to click on all three of the columns and we are going to adjust for ties. So I click on compute and we can see here's our chi-squared statistic of 14.33. That is the, oops, my bad. That is the H test statistic. And so we do see that we're going to get a significant uh, difference. And so we do want to reject the null hypothesis, but how do I get this? Well, it's always a right tail test because we're always looking for some sort of difference. So this is always going to be a right tail test. Um, and so we're going to test for the uh, 0 to 5 test statistic. And so this is a chi-squared test, right? It's a chi-squared test. I have two degrees of freedom. And so I'm going to go to my chi-squared calculator right? I'm going to do my two degrees of freedom. I'm going to make it greater than for that right tail. And I'm going to put in the zero two five, right? So that I have that alpha. Um, and so it's the test statistic is here, the 7.33, the seven is going to make that an eight. Okay. And so there's the seven, oh, three, seven, eight. So it's three decimal places. And that um, makes us happy, right? So we're going to, it's, it's always going to be this right tail. We're going to use our level of significance and plug that in to get our rejection region. And of course, 14 is much, much bigger, um, than, uh, 7.378. So that means that we're over here. The 14 is over here in our rejection region. And that, um, makes us happy. Okay.